All right, here we go. Are you going to report? I am right now. I know. Can you believe that I actually did my job? Hi, Melanie and Sophia. Katie. Um, this is 7.2. Today we are starting with proofs. Trig edition. Today is 12.13. Penny is so excited about her birthday. Guess who's coming over for her birthday? Noah Spencer. And two other kids, yeah. Noah is probably her best friend, which is very, very cute. They spend a lot of time talking to each other and playing games on the phone. All right, example one. So, your job is going to be to prove that these are the same thing. And here's how proofs work. A proof is not like an equation. <coughs> when you're solving an equation, you're solving for a variable, and you're trying to get things on, right, you're moving things from side to side. You may not move things from side to side in a proof. Basically, we're going to work on the left side, we're going to work on the right side, and try to make them equal to each other to prove that they're the same. There are lots of different ways to do a proof. Lots of different ways. Um, and we've got to come up with our own way. So, does anybody have any suggestions to start? Just an idea of a technique we might want to use. Something we used last section that helped things easy, make them a little easier. Thomas? Uh huh. Yep. Oh, okay, close, but it doesn't actually work because this is cotangent squared, but that's totally going to come up a whole bunch. You're right. It's just not this time. Uh, Morgan. Yes, let's change it to x's and y's. Let's start there. Okay, so cotangent is what? x over y plus 1. Yep. But remember, you can't go back and forth between the sides. Cosecant is 1 over y. y. Cosine is x over 1 plus sine is y over 1. Why do you think that I made it x over 1 and y over 1 instead of just x plus y? Because the nominator is the rate of even, I think. I don't Yeah. I, you, you, can you see that I'm about to distribute? And so you see that I need it to be a fraction. Okay. Who is the suggestion next? Distribute. Distribute. Okay, so on this side, x times y, so it's x on the top, y on the bottom, plus, let's see, this is y over y, right? We need them to look exactly the same. Now, it is your, there's so many different ways to do this, so listen to me carefully. It is your choice. I will even allow, because I am such a nice, amazingly beautiful person, I will allow you to leave it in X's and Y's and not even transfer it over into back into trig speak. Yes, if they're the same on either, are they the same right now? No. No. Now, you can either change this one into Y over Y, because that's the same thing as one, or you could change the Y over Y into one and then say that they're the same. Do you see what I mean? You, can't, you cannot go right up to the finish line and then go, well, you get it now. Like, no, finish it, okay? I've actually got a couple of you that I marked down on your, on your sheets, because a couple kids wrote, instead of writing negative one for like a cosine of something, they wrote one over negative one. And I'm like, really? Like, you're not, we're gonna go that far and not quite finish? So, uh, who's got a preference? Okay, so this is x over y plus 1. Ooh, thank you. Uh, let's put it right here. Oof, you must be tired. Oof. Now, once you finish a proof, you write this. You're going to write QED and put a check mark. That means, ooh, I don't know what it means. I thought you already did. 
That I already did what? Yeah, but I never remember. It's like Quora. It is quad erat demonstratum, and it means I demonstrated what you asked me to. Okay, and it is Latin. And it is often used in mathematics. People write QED when they've got something. And it also feels very satisfying. All right, you guys can go to lunch. We'll finish the other two examples in a second. Does that matter, like, what side you put the QED on? No, it's just a statement that says I did my proof. Okay. 